Hey guys, welcome back. I hope that you have had a beautiful holiday season. It is uh, 2024. Amazing, right? And very exciting. So I'm glad to be back with you guys. And I appreciate how you tune in every week and join me for Monday Morning Mojo. It is really like the highlight of my week. So I appreciate you. And I'm, I'm really glad and grateful to have the opportunity to share great content with you. And, you know, I, I spend a lot of time listening to podcasts and you know, following thought leaders, reading different books, as I'm sure all of you do too. And um, uh, today, I just want to share a couple of things with you that I feel I learned in 2023. And, uh, you know, those lessons are, they're showing up in different areas of my life. And, uh, you know, I have a couple that I think are at the top of my list. And the, and the first one uh, that I really took away in, in 2023 was, and this is not in any particular order. It's just what's kind of coming up for me. And, you know, I'm glad that we could just, um, you know, talk about it. Uh, the first one that that is coming up for me is, and it's one I've heard before, but I think 2023 really taught me to to appreciate this. Uh, and, and that is when somebody shows you who they are, believe it the first time. And, you know, listen, for me, I'm just gonna be really transparent. You know, I, I am a champion of people. I am a people lover. I get energy from people. I love being a, a leader and a coach. And I really, truly get up every day wanting to support people and help them become the best version of themselves, professionally, personally. And I put a lot into that. And um, I also have a natural high sense of optimism. Uh, I'm sure I'm not alone on that either, which, listen, I I'm grateful for that. I, I find that that's a gift. And like most um, of our strengths, it can become a weakness too when it's not managed properly. And there were a few times in, in 2023 where my optimism might have created a blind spot in uh, certain situations, uh, both professionally and even personally. And listen, I I'm just here to say, I'm always gonna believe in people and I'm always gonna look for the best in people. And yet I think it's important that we go into situations and we go into relationships with eyes wide open. And when we see a certain pattern of behavior, we might need to pay attention to that and not assume it's just someone having an off day that it might just be a part of who they are. And, and Maya Angelou was famous for this uh, for this sentiment. She, she was quoted as saying this many times, that when someone shows you who they are the first time, believe them. So listen, you know, you learn a lot when things don't go the way you thought they would. Um, you know, success is, is not always um, a straight line, right? Success is not always easy. And, and failure is sometimes, you know, part of, of success and, and things not working out is just part of the journey. But I, I will say that that is one thing that I feel this past year has taught me. Uh, and it's not about being cynical. It's not about turning into um, a negative thinker at all. It's just, it's just balancing out some of my optimism and some of my um, uh, belief that things will always work out with a little bit more uh, skepticism or reality. So that that's number one. Uh, the second lesson that I feel I learned in 2023, uh, or really just, I guess, connected with in a deeper way is that your health is everything, right? And I, and I didn't have any health scares or anything like that, but I, I think I'm just becoming more aware, more mindful of my age, right? I'm 52, which I know is is certainly young by a lot of standards. At least I'm going to tell you that it's young by a lot of standards. Um, no, it is. And uh, it's just, listen, it's just being aware that maybe I have less years ahead of me than I have behind me. It's definitely being mindful of the fact that I love my life and I am happy living an active life that uh, has me, you know, working and traveling for work as well as for fun. I love to travel. And um, at the end of the day, the big life I want to lead is going to be possible if I take care of my body. 
And so I definitely connected with that more in 2023 and, and we'll continue that in 2024 and beyond and really believe that that is something that we all have to acknowledge, right? And I think we all agree this makes sense and it's so important, yet what are we doing about it? Are we really putting our, our health first? Are we making time for movement, right? Exercise. Are we making time, uh, you know, to take self care as a priority? Are we mindful of what we're putting in our bodies? Are we mindful of how much alcohol we're consuming? Are we aware of how much sleep we're getting? So for me, that became a bigger focus this past year. I, um, you know, have gotten on some supplements, and I'm, I'm, I'm a part of this healthcare company that has really changed my life. Uh, and if you want more information about that, there's actually a link in the in the show notes. Um, so that has made a huge difference for me and, and just being aware of how different, uh, environmental, uh, elements affect me, how different foods affect me and just getting on that more healthy journey. So that, that was a big takeaway for me in 2023. So my third takeaway from 2023 is I think a deeper appreciation of who I am. And this is probably if 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 I was to encourage you to take something away from from this podcast episode, it might be this uh, is to just appreciate and accept yourself for who you are, um, j- just as you are, because our ability to uh, our ability to really love ourselves and generate from that love a confidence. Uh, is really powerful. And I think it's what can radiate from you and inspire other people. And so I, I feel like I've really stepped into that in the last year that I really, I just remind myself of my own humanity. I remind myself that I'm worthy and valuable in my own way. And, and that we all are here as unique beautiful individuals, right? I believe we are spiritual beings having a a human existence, right? Having a tangible human, um, you know, existential experience on this planet earth. For whatever reasons, we don't know, but it's our job to figure it out. And if you're going to figure it out, you got to focus on accepting who you are and just knowing that you bring something valuable to every situation and that you are miraculously made and that you have something wonderful and the world is waiting for it. So put it out there, right? Be unapologetically you and put it out there. I I feel like that was something that I really embraced more this past year. Yep. So I'm sharing some of my takeaways from this past year. And I would say another thing that I got really clear about is how I want to feel doing what I do. You know, I've always been someone who is programmed to create goals and to uh, sort of reverse engineer, right? I've always been someone who's created an image or, or a goal and then worked backwards right down to what I need to do today so I can get to the goal. And goals are important. Uh, I feel that... Um, I feel that when we set goals and achieve goals, we can live a bigger life. And all of that is great, but I don't think that we should ignore how we want to feel in the process. So I found myself thinking about that a lot more in 2023. And uh, so note to self, right? Examine how you want to feel on the journey to accomplishing your goals, right? Because if you can connect more with what excites you, if you connect with what interests you, right, you're going to you're going to stir up more of that passion and that's the fuel for you and your purpose. And I think it's important for us to really understand that about ourselves because that's how we start to connect to our inner or that motivation, that inner drive. Um, and so let's face it, some of the goals that we have, they, they can take a little time to accomplish, right? Some goals are big yearly goals. It takes 12 months to get there and you don't want to lose sight of the goal or lose interest in the goal. And so I think connecting how we feel or want to feel, uh, to what we want to accomplish is really an important way to boost our inspiration. 
and to feel more inspired. So I, I feel like that was really uh, something else that I was more aware of in, in 23. Yeah, because, you know, to achieve anything, you must have a little ambition, right? Motivation that keeps you dedicated to, to the process. And uh, so we can't lose sight of what's going to be the fuel that keeps us going, right? Another thing that I think 23 taught me was really the importance of surrounding yourself with people who inspire you and really just finding ways to connect with people you can learn from. I, um, I don't want to be the smartest person in the room because then I may not have enough, I may not have um, anything to learn. So it's important for me to know that I can always continue to grow my network and expand my network. Um, I love being able to connect with people who are collaborators. This podcast has been really a fabulous journey for me because I've had some people on that, you know, I've interviewed that we've had just fascinating conversations and I've learned a lot that way. And so I think that being able to have connection with each other, being able to learn from each other, um, surrounding yourself with people who inspire you does amazing things to grow your character, to grow and inspire you to think bigger and, and really develop more of, of your own story. So I found that to be uh, an important part of what I experienced this past year. Another, maybe the final lesson I'll share with you today, because there are so many, and, and I would encourage you to maybe think about this too. You know, when you reflect on, just let me pause myself here for a second and just say this to you all, that there is so much power in reflection. And I don't know if we all, any of us take enough time for it, because I get it. We're, we're living crazy, busy, fast paced lives. And we have a lot of things we need to do in a day. A lot of people we're responsible for, um, you know, and so we're moving at the speed of light. And do we take enough time to stop and think, not just to plan about what we need to do going forward, but to reflect on where we've been and what that taught us. So uh, I, I would love to think that this episode is going to encourage you to do the same thing. You know, what did you learn about yourself? about your potential, about your relationships, about your goals, about what drives you, about your career, you know, what, what did you learn in the past 12 months? What did 2023 come in to teach you? That's what we're talking about today. And I think um, one of the final things I'll, I'll share with you is, um, so Jim Rohn has a quote, and, and this will sum it up. And the quote is this, your life does not get better by chance it gets better by change. And there were a lot of things that changed in 2023. And I've never been afraid of change myself. I embrace change. I sometimes uh, crave change. I'm one of those creatures that likes to shake up the snow globe and, and uh, you know, create the change because I, I believe that from change, opportunity shows up, right? We can't grow if we're not changing. And so that being said though, I really learned this past year uh, that with the change comes opportunity. And that was, was really a gift, even at times when the change didn't feel great. You follow me? Like sometimes when things start changing, especially if you don't ex expect it, it's it feels crazy. It feels chaotic. Uh, it feels like things are not clear or uncertain. And yet when I look back on it, I, I am grateful for the change because it set me on a new path and a path that maybe I wouldn't have, wouldn't have stepped on any other way. So we have to acknowledge that our life will always get better when we allow change or we create change. Um, and, and that really growth is something that we have to plan for. Yeah, there's always a little incremental growth that we'll experience, right? You do grow over time. But if you want some really life-altering alter, growth, then you have to plan for it. It has to become really purposeful. And so I believe that that was something that I learned more or, or embraced more in this past year. And, uh, you know, because, listen, change is a catalyst for growth because it always seems impossible, right, until it's done, <laughs> And so with, 
with that change, it, even if it propels us and, and kind of forces us into a different um, perspective or in motion that we didn't expect, it it's going to drive us and it becomes really an opportunity. So I felt like that was something that I learned also. All right. You know, what? I have one more. You know what I learned in 2023 that I am more creative than I give myself credit. And I wonder who's with me on this one. So sometimes I, I think that creative people are the artists, the musicians, the people who like to do things with their hands, you know, maybe build something, make something, sew something, right? And that is true. And and those are not things I tend to choose to spend my time on. Um, but I am creative. And so are you. And I think that we have to allow ourselves an opportunity to connect with that creativity because it could show up in terms of being a visionary. It could show up in terms of the way you are able to craft a conversation. It could show up in, in ways uh, that help to design strategic plans. So how do we define creativity? And, and I think that for a lot of us, we are more creative than we give ourselves credit for. And so I really found that to be true for, for myself in 2023. And, you know, when you look up the definition of creativity, what are you going to find? So the definition of creativity is the use of your imagination or original ideas, especially in the production of an artistic work. So creativity is the use of your imagination or even original ideas, especially in the production of an artistic work. So an artistic work could be defined in a lot of ways too. And so we can be very creative at, at work. We can be very creative at home. We can be an integral part of creating vision. And I think using our imagination more and more um, it, it gives us this unlimited power to make new things happen. And that's awesome. So I feel like that was something 2023 taught me and, and really, I guess, prepared me for more of what I want in 2024. And uh, that's how I'll leave you today is, is with a question about 24. What do you want more of in 24? If you can reflect on all the things that 23 was here to teach you, now use that as the foundation for what you want to design in 2024. And one great question could be, what do you want more of? Another powerful question could be, what do you, what would you like less of in 24? Maybe you want less complaining. Maybe you want less uh, conflict. Maybe you want less space which means you just want to connect more with people, right? So what do you want less of in 24? And what do you want to call in to this new year? Because you have the power to create that. You have the power to manifest whatever your thoughts bring. And, and that's the key, right? Is for us to know that our mind is so powerful and whatever we think can be true, right? So use this time, these beautiful, precious first couple of weeks of the new year to create some intentions about what you want out of these next 12 months. Um, something that I do every year and I, I made a decision about it um, probably a little late this year. It was probably the last week in, in December of 23 when I got clear about my word of the year. And my word for uh, 2024 is breakthrough. And uh, because I'm I'm ready and excited to look at all the areas of my life that I really believe I have a, an amazing opportunity to just level up in, right? It's just, you know, it's just moving from good to great. And I'm looking at what that means for me in each area of my life. And even if it's small steps, it just means we're having a breakthrough and we're moving forward. So breakthrough resonated with me. And that's my word for 2024. What's your word for this year? What's your word that is going to be uh, a guide for you, a guiding light for you, a word that creates a connection to more of something you want to call into your life, right? So so if you haven't picked a word, it's not too late. It's never too late. You can, you can uh, make that decision today even. What is your word for 24? What will be the theme for your life? 
Um, and uh, I wish you much love and prosperity, health and wealth and happiness in this new year. And I look forward to having more great conversations with you. And I'm really excited about uh, the podcast developing this year and bringing on more exciting guests. And um, it's really, like I said, at the top of the show, an honor to do this with you every week. So thank you for letting me fulfill my passion uh, and use this podcast as a vehicle to do that. So happy new year. And I will see you guys here again next week. Take care.